Honor, loyalty. Credos that all Mafia types live by, but what about stealing? Made Man is the latest gangster game to jump on the sandbox pile, borrowing a number of elements from its forebears in an effort to make an invigorating and new venture in the genre. Does it bite off more than it can chew? Man, you step into the shoes of Joey Verola, an ex Nam vet with a chip on his shoulder, hoping to make it big in the world of mafiosos. Throughout the game, Verola reminisces of his exploits in organized crime, relaying his tales to his curious nephew. It's within these flashbacks that the player relives past chapters of his life, taking you to Vietnam one moment and New York City to drop rival mob members the next. As a framing device, it's nothing extraordinarily new. It goes without saying that the mobster bit has already been done to death in video games, and Made Man's uninspired take on that motif doesn't really do the genre any favors. The game's cinematic feel is failed by flat graphics, expressionless faces, and oddly animated characters. These half-baked elements detract too much from the mood that Made Man's story tries to create. Jeez, Benny. Verola's life as a thug is a simple one. Run, shoot, kill. Sweet dreams, fucko. There are no concrete level objectives, so gamers looking for visceral run-and-gun thrills are going to be pleased. In Made Man, you have access to over 25 different ranged and melee weapons. As you progress in some levels, passing key areas brings up a hint window, showing environmental points of interest. These range from padlocks you can shoot open to reveal power-ups, to stray sniper rifles for you to pick up. It's a useful addition, but the scarcity of these hints makes it seem like they're a last-minute addition that was never fully realized. For a game with a story that has crafty mobsters, the AI sure isn't all that bright. Aside from having odd and unresponsive behavior, a lot of the game's scripted events are awkwardly executed. Many of the levels have enemies spawn around you after passing particular points, allowing you to memorize and prepare. It's about as predictable as an 8-bit game, and surprisingly, less entertaining. guns in Made Man is easy. Dodging bullets, not so much. There is a rudimentary ducking and diving system where you're able to hide behind walls and objects to avoid enemy fire. The problem is, there's not much avoiding going on. Bullets pierce through walls without incident, even if you're squatting down. One of the main features of the game is a mechanic called Kill Rack, which is a bar that fills up gradually as Varola kills more enemies. When it's full, pressing triangle activates the Kill Rush which slows down time, allowing you to run and gun with ease. Don't be too surprised if it all looks familiar. It's pretty much a shameless ripoff of Max Payne's bullet time mode, adding to the pile of lifted features in Made Man. To its credit, however, there is one feature that's original and slightly refreshing. After downing an enemy, if you're feeling particularly indignant, you can walk over to his body and initiate a retort kill. Well, fuck you right back. <laughs> Aside from providing amusement, these retort kills restore Varola's life meter, but they happen far too infrequently. They're inconsistent, much like the game itself. Nods to a genre are one thing, but taking too much with poor execution inevitably results in parody. This is exactly what Made Man is. It's a game with a hodgepodge of stolen ideas and video game conventions that never quite managed to be pulled off flawlessly. <laughs> Fans of the genre will enjoy its delinquent action, but otherwise, this one is better off sleeping with the fishes. What are you to me?